All right, welcome back. Almost a year ago, parts of East Macon and Jones County saw heavy flooding from a passing storm. Now it left a Jones County couple with thousands of dollars in repair bills after aid agencies said they couldn't help. Anthony Montalto shares their story. I was actually praying that it wouldn't rain 15 more minutes and 15 more minutes of rain came about 1 30 or 2. That extra 15 minutes of rain and I saw water creeping up everywhere led to months of repairs and a $60,000 flood of repair bills. The home isn't in a floodplain, so James and Lugene Lamb had no flood insurance. We had to throw away about a fourth of everything we had in the house and the shop, and I, I'm still working on my shop. Their home of nearly 40 years, now part of the floodwater. Everything inside the house up to your ankle was covered in, uh, in reddish, uh, uh, fine uh, mud. Lamb says the day of the flood, the water came from Walnut Creek a few hundred feet that way and over Graham Road and then into the yard. It puts it around chest height for me and I'm 5'10". But let's come over here and look at the house where the water was ankle deep. I want you to take a look here at the porch. Now it's a couple of feet off the ground and inside that's about level with the floors. But Lamb says the water came up even a few inches above that. The roadway was blocked about uh, a quarter of a mile that way and a quarter of a mile that way. Local, state and federal agencies, even lawmakers tried to help, but they couldn't get any aid money. We've gotten re rejection uh, letters uh, written from our state representative and the governor's office. They said there wasn't any available. According to a flyer the Lambs got from GEMA, federal money is only available to individuals if there's $19 million in damage statewide. Now the Lambs hope FEMA changes its policy so nobody else faces their same situation. In Jones County, Anthony Montalto, 13 WMAC News. The Georgia Emergency Management Agency says they typically don't help out with flooding. They directed us to FEMA District 4. We called their news information line, but were unable to talk to anybody.